incredible atmosphere here tonight at Nissan Stadium. For 680 days, Roman Reigns has been a champion. He said it's one last trip to the island of relevancy before I send Brock to the farm for good. Tonight, I'm approaching this like I approach anything athletic in my life. I'm coming out to win tonight. I'm a fighter, I'm a farmer, and a badass fucking cowboy. Now get the f out of here. You know, every generation you have a few guys, when they come out, it's different from everybody else on the card. Roman's like that, Brock's like that. It feels different when they walk out. It feels like a prize fight. Where is Lesnar going? Brock Lesnar is bringing the farm to SummerSlam. Look at the smile on Lesnar's face. He is driving a tractor. The peanut butter needs jelly. Feels like Roman and Brock are the two that just have been running concurrently against each other. Lucky to be a fan of this era. The following contest is a last man standing match. Oh my God! Lesnar didn't waste any time. A fast press off the tractor, and we're underway. Last man standing. This is gonna be ugly. The only rule: keep your opponent down for the count of ten. Lesnar is savoring the suffering of the tribal chief. You have Cowboy Brock, Tribal Chief. I mean, we're completely locked into who we are. Be able to do it this many times on in that many stadium shows. To me, this is where me and Brock showed them. We're so much better than everybody else. Who knows what sort of horrible ideas Lesnar had in his mind. Lesnar just dumped him into that front loader, and now Lesnar is taking out the trash. God almighty, what the hell is Lesnar doing? Anything he wants. This isn't my first fucking rodeo. You know, I wear a cowboy hat because I'm a fucking cowboy. I farm, I ranch. This is fucking Brock Lesnar. Lesnar's lifted up the oh ring with God. Roman Reigns in it. Brock Lesnar just lifted the ring. 15 feet off the ground with a damn tractor. Came his mouth, passed the check. Look at this. Oh my God. David at five to the table. Reigns with a title off the face of Lesnar. That's got to be it. And now the Usos burying the beast beneath the rubble. We showcase what a sports entertainer looks like. To be able to take that level of physicality, that level of brutality and violence, and then to entertain and, and have showmanship. There's just so many elements to it that just showcase greatness, in my opinion. It's over. Reigns retains. Roman Reigns. It took the Usos. It took Paul Heyman. It took every piece of equipment at ringside to bury the damn beast and for Roman Reigns to continue his historic championship reign. To me, it was by far their best match they've ever had. They found a way to make all the chaos work, to really make it seem like Brock overcame a lot and ultimately couldn't overcome anymore. The ring is a mess. It's still propped up from the bulldozer. And Brock does something that I've never seen. He climbs to the top of this broken ring, up where the bucket of the tractor is, and he thanks the fans, puts on the cowboy hat, and lets them know, like, yo, this was for you. I think that that was Brock's way of saying, this chapter may be closed for right now, and uh, see you on down the road. I don't think that there was anybody really except for Brock Lesnar to make Roman Reigns the star that he is. I can't think of anybody else really that, that could have been in that spot to get Roman Reigns to catapult him to this superstardom. He believed it. That's what makes it so special. These are the rivalries. The buzz was huge. That made television history. It was just unmatched.